So what I want to do for this drawing, graphically to illustrate it, and the notes I want you to take, is what we're going to do is kind of like the diagram we just had up there a second ago, where you got the longest wavelengths, and they get shorter and shorter as you go in this direction. And they get shorter, 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 until they're like super duper short. Okay, can you see that it's starting longer here and getting shorter? So what you have here in this little drawing, what we got here is the longer wavelength that way and what we're going to do is you know draw the different types and for taking notes purposes here and the shorter in this direction okay so longer that way and shorter and so we're just going to go ahead and say the visible light now which one's longer is the red or the or the blue that's right, it's the red. So the red would be on that side. So what you have here is red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. So here's a question I want you to ask yourself. And in fact, I might put this on, uh, it'd definitely be on the uh, question sheet, probably be on a test if we have a test on this. Red, which one's longer, yellow or blue? The answer is yellow. Which one's longer, blue or violet? Blue. Which one's shorter? Red or green? Green, right, because it's on this side. These guys are the shorter, went progressively shorter. These are progressively longer. All right, you should have that uh, concept. And you're like, what? What are you asking, talking about? Let's try it one more time. Which one is the shorter wavelength of light, blue or yellow? The answer is blue, because you got the blue is on this side in the Roy G. Bev. Now what I want to do is what happens if it's so long that our eyeballs can't detect it, okay? And what you have here is on the red side, I already mentioned it on, on this. Do you know what it is? It's called infrared. Infrared. Okay, so infrared is invisible, but actually you can feel it as heat. Okay, so infrared goes right there. Um, infrared, it's longer wavelength than red. It's felt as heat. It's given off by warm bodies. Okay, and so uh, bodies means any kind of physical object, right? So, you know, have you ever noticed if you're standing next to a barbecue, you can't see it's not you know glowing or anything if it was hot enough it would glow red hot but it's not but you can feel the heat coming off it not touching it but you put your hand near it and you can feel that heat okay so that would be infrared that you're feeling when, when you're doing that now there's a kind of photography they had and, oh i wish i had one of these cameras where you um you take a picture using an infrared camera and here's a picture of a cat with an infrared camera uh, and it's, you know, I don't know if you've ever had a cat touch you with his nose. That's the coolest part. It's, it, he had evaporation going on. keeps his nose cool. But the inside of a cat's ear is really warm. So is yours, by the way. They use thermometers sometimes in ears for babies. Uh, don't ever poke your, you know, finger in a cat's eye to see if it's warm. Don't do that. But uh, the ear, you can check it out. And so this is detecting the infrared. Well, and a computer translates the amount of infrared in terms of redder is more infrared and blue is cooler right? It's like temperature. All right, here's another picture of a hand holding a lizard. So, oh, by the way, click to add title. You don't have to write that. I'm sorry. It's just kind of what ends up happening. But the um, lizard looks purple and the hand looks red, what, 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 like yellow. Why would that be? Usually somebody can answer this because the lizards are cold-blooded right they don't generate their own heat and look though it's red where it absorbs the heat from the hand it's a little it's warming up on its feet right or here's a picture of a jeep in the army or whatever that the engine is really hot and it's made the ground really hot underneath it radiant energy and so again it's infrared is a form of light we just can't see it and by the way i do want to mention this is a super duper 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 important kind of light Without getting too much detail of what this graphic is, this light, all the heat on Earth radiates into space to cool the Earth off. And the reason greenhouse gases are greenhouse gases is because they capture that heat, that infrared uh, light. Okay, Infrared is also used in uh, remote controls and stuff like that. Now, if you get smaller than infrared, you get microwaves. 
Now, microwave, or excuse me, I said smaller than infrared. It's even longer than infrared. I said that wrong. It's microwaves because it's the smallest of the radio waves. That's why they call it that. But really, it's bigger than visible. Uh, so don't let that fool you. And this is the right size waves to make water molecules move, which is how a microwave oven works. You get the microwave going into a, like a chicken leg or something like that. It heats up the water inside it, so it cooks it from the inside out, right? That's why a microwave can cook the food, but not the plate so much, hopefully. Okay, and they also use it for communication radar. Microwave transmissions are used a lot like in cell phones and things of that sort. And then you get radio waves that are really long. And technically, it's almost unlimited what the length could be. Here, what we have is FM radio. It stands for frequency modulation. It's about three meters long. So it's like nine feet, a little more, 10 feet. TV waves are in there. AM radio is even longer than that. It's over 300 meters long, right? So that's, we're talking like up to three kilometers. And technically, the radio wave spectrum, you can have waves the size of the Earth, one wave. Or from the ear to the moon, these really super duper long radio waves. They do exist. And of course, we use it for radio communication and stuff. So what we got is the infrared, microwave, and radio. Let's put that on our diagram. Oh, don't look ahead. Don't look ahead. <laughs> So, on the ones that are longer than visible, we got infrared. What was the next one here? Microwaves. Now, they call microwave, even though they're pretty long compared to the other light, uh, because it's micro, it's the smallest of the radio. Technically, it's a kind of a radio wave. Radio.